sleepers. It's not cool. Characteristics of mollusks. Bilateral, soft body colomid include snail clam and octopuses. They're used for food. Clams make pearls. Organ systems are very well developed. They have an open circulatory system. Cephalopods have closed circulatory systems. Three chambered heart, two in gastropods. They have two kidneys, a nervous system with ganglia, sexual reproduction, and some are hermaphroditic. Yeah, that's right, they're hermaphroditic. Bivalvia. Basically, they have two shells and they're filter feeders. That's basically all you need to know, but they have a visceral mass that holds all of their organs. They have a foot and a mantle. They also have an umbo. Umbo's the oldest part of the shell. The marine and fresh environments is what they live in. Sweet man. Cephalopods. There's this thing called a cuttlefish that changes colors when it's mad. It's pretty sweet. You should go check it out. You know what makes them change colors? Chromatophores. They're also head-footed. They have ink sacs and they're carnivorous. What is a mollusk? Here are some examples. Snail. Clam. Cuttlefish. What are the three classes? Oh, gastropods, bivalvia, and cephalopods. Sweet, man. I think they did a good job today. Needed in our lesson. Well, I hope none of you fell asleep, because that way that you would understand what mollusks are all about. I mean, look, I explained everything about mollusks. Just reading our presentation to you guys about mollusks. They're the underwater giants, not like the giant squid, because that's not a mollusk. Just kidding, I was lying, just, just, just lying, lying.